So you may not be a fan of the make money online videos and you may not be a fan of technology and that's fine. But that doesn't mean you can't make some extra money on the side. Now, not everyone needs to make money online. Some people prefer traditional methods of making money. Some people prefer doing things offline, working face to face with others. So making money online can be a great option for those who are tech savvy, for those who have the necessary skills, but it is not the only option. In today's video, we're going to discuss some unique and profitable side hustles for people who hate technology. So if you are a no tech person, you have little or no money, and you prefer to keep things simple, then one of these could be for you. So stay tuned. Now you could choose to run each of these business ideas either as a self-employed person or as a business owner. And there is a difference. So I want to talk about that difference first. So if you are self-employed, you are actually doing all the work in the business. So this is the list desirable of the both if you want to maximize your profit. Now if you're a business owner on the other hand, you have the potential to grow your business and increase profits while self-employed individuals generally have limited growth potential because if you are self-employed, you will be doing all the work. If you're a business owner, you will have employees doing the work. So if you're a business owner, you could simply hire other people to do the work for you and you just oversee the business like a CEO. Both of these are good and they offer you flexibility and the opportunity to earn extra cash. Now here are the offline, no tech, low cost business ideas. Number one on the list is a personal shopper or an errand running service. Now a personal shopper is someone who helps busy people by doing their shopping for them or running errands. So I, I can't tell you personally how many times I've needed, I just wished for a personal shopper but just can't find anyone offering that service around here. So this is something that teenagers can easily do, it's a very easy business. Your ideal customer would be someone who doesn't like leaving their home, a homebody like myself. So someone who may be visiting from a, a foreign country overseas, they're not familiar to the area, or simply someone who is unable to leave their home for whatever reason. So these are your ideal customers. There are no expenses required up front. You don't need any inventory. You don't need any products. You literally can start this business today, like now. So with this business, you could either do the shopping yourself or you could hire students or others to do the shopping but you would handle getting the customers you would handle the payments now you could deliver groceries medication household items just anything you can think of that people need in the community you can deliver those things so if you enjoy shopping and running errands you can offer these services to busy people in your community you can charge anywhere from $20 to even $50 an hour depending on the type of services and the location where you are. So the startup cost for this business is $0 to start generally and the potential earnings in could be anywhere from $20 to $50. Now the second business that I want to talk about that requires no technology, no computer is a career service. Now, a career service specializes in the delivery of packages and documents or other items from one location to another. Now, this can include same-day delivery, door-to-door -door delivery, even next-day delivery. For this type of business, it would be helpful to have your own vehicle, but it's not necessary. You can do this business on your feet. You can do it with a bicycle. You can use a taxi cab any cab service and just add up that cost into your pricing so the cost for you to take a taxi you add it to your price so the location of your business will impact your earning potential if you are a career service in urban areas you may have a higher demand than those in rural areas now you also have to think of the competition so the level of competition in your area will impact your earning potential and you will need to compete with other career service businesses in order to win business but it is very doable now the earning potential in general a small career service business can earn between 50,000 
and a hundred thousand dollars per year while a larger career service business can earn seven hundred thousand dollars or more so it's up to you as to how much you want to scale up that business a business idea number three that requires no tech or you know very little startup cost is selling poop no not your poop not your neighbor's poop but your animals poop now if you have animals or you could invest in some if you have the money you could sell their poop as manure to other businesses and farmers. For example, cow manure, which is very popular, is very rich in nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and that makes it a great fertilizer for a wide range of plants. Now, horse manure is also high in nutrients. So that's another type that you can sell. It is high in nutrients and it is often used as a fertilizer for vegetable gardens and flower beds. Then you have chicken manure. Chicken manure is one of the richest manures in terms of nutrients, containing high levels of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Then there's sheep manure that you can sell. Sheep manure is a good source of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, etc. can be used for lawns and gardens. Then there's rabbit manure, which is also high in nitrogen. So all of these from animals can be used to make money. So there is even a course out there now on how to start a manure business, believe it or not. So the startup cost for this type of business ranges from anywhere from maybe $100 to $200. And the earning potential is $19 to $25 an hour that you can collect with manure or collecting animal poop. The next business idea is being a tree caretaker. Now, this is a great one for teenagers as well. For example, when Austin Andrews, you may have heard of him, when he was 14 years old, he made a proposal to the city of Orange Grove, Alabama, that he would take care of the citrus trees. So he told them, I want to take care of the trees around the city. So of course they said, yes, he got the contract and he has been managing the city's trees for years. So if you love plants and you know a thing or two about yard work and trees, that might be a good one for you. The next side hustle would be lawn care or landscaping services. So this one is similar to the last one, but it includes things such as mowing lawns, raking leaves, or snow removal. It could be anything related to cleaning up people's yards, and things like that. So not everybody likes taking care of their yard, we know that, or not everyone has the time to do that. So they would appreciate somebody, I know I would, somebody coming to do that for them. It could be a weekly arrangement, a monthly arrangement. You know, you could sell your services in packages. You know, say so you would tell them, I will do twice. I will clean your yard two times a month, sometimes, you know, once a month. However, you know, that works, you decide. And the startup cost for that would be, of course, you need a grass trimmer, something to mow the lawn. So that's around $50, you can get a good grass trimmer. The earnings potential of this type of business is anywhere in the range from $20,000 to $40,000 per year, just cleaning people's yards. Now how you could do that even better, you could go even around your neighborhood, house to house in your neighborhood, and let people know that I have a landscaping service, I can clean your yard, cut your grass at whatever price. Now the next business idea is very similar and that is parking lot litter cleanup or simply picking up trash in parking lots. Now you may have heard of Brian Winch and he has been doing this for over 30 years and he calls it America's simplest business. He says you can earn anywhere from $50,000 to $100,000 a year just to walk around the local parking lots and clean up the garbage. Most property managers do not want to do this dirty job. They don't want to clean their parking lots themselves. However, you may want to do that and they will pay you very well to do it. Month after month, they will pay you. Year after year, they will pay you to do that. Now you can learn more about this particular business at cleanlots.com. Now the next business idea is tutoring or keeping workshops. Now, as an educator, I believe tutoring is very important. Tutoring can be a very lucrative side gig. Anybody can do it, teaching anything. Now, you don't need to have any special qualifications, although the more knowledge you have about your subject area, 
the better for you. For one-on-one -on -one tutoring, you can go to students' homes or you can have them come to your home. Now there's group tutoring where you can have classes at a school or a church building as well. And many times you can get a building for free. If you get 20 students, for example, paying you $20 for one hour of class, that is $400 per session. Now you can have five sessions per week. That is $2,000. You can have two sessions per week. That would be $800 per week. So the five sessions per week would equal $2,000 and two sessions per week, that's $800 per week. Or that would equal $3,200 per month. Now you might be saying, but Rich, I'm not a teacher. I don't know anything. I can't teach. Well, you do know a lot of things and you can teach. Do you know how to bake a particular type of bread or cake and you're the best at it? Is there something that you can do really, really well? You can market that knowledge. Do you know how to sew, to decorate cakes, how to do interior design, how to make a bouquet, crochet, design games, coding, do you know how to play an instrument? You can do just about anything. You can teach beekeeping. Do you know anything about bees? Bed making, how to make your bed, hotel quality, keeping a home clean. All of these are classes that I've seen around and you can also hold the same classes. The possibilities for tutoring are endless. You could also tutor the common cool classes like history, math. A lot of students need help with math. Science classes, you can do a lot of things with that. So that's the possibilities for tutoring are endless. And the final one I want to talk about is an event center. An event center is a building that you rent out to people who want to have functions. So they want to have a wedding reception, birthday parties, baby showers, family reunions, whatever it is. You decide what you want your event center to hold and you can charge a reasonable price for people using your place. It could be at your house, they could rent your yard, or you could find a place that you can rent at a very small price and you charge people weekly to use that place. So you can decide whether you want to add catering as well to bump up your business. You can add catering to that business. So if you, you say, well, you don't know how to cook, that's fine. You can still add catering to that business, but you just find a caterer. You find someone who can cater and you ask them to provide food for your events. You can also rent out the chairs that you have at your center, the tables, you can rent out the tents, whatever it is, you can do so many things with that business. Now it will cost you a little bit, of course, to have such a business, assuming you're not using your own home, which you can for free. But if you're using a different location, then you would need to either purchase the location or rent the location. So your small startup cost would be to rent that property. And then you would need to buy some tables, chairs, a few accessories to go into that center to make it look nice. Now, how much could you earn? You can earn anywhere from 500 to $800 per event. Each event would be four to six hours. So imagine say a Saturday, you hold an event, you rent out your place, say a wedding reception, you could charge $800 for one in the morning, another $800 for another event in the evening or later in the day. That's $1,600 in one weekend you could earn just opening your property out for one day. Imagine how much you could earn for the entire month. I hope you got some great ideas from this video. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing.